In this video, you will learn how to calculate mass and weight on different planets. Here you can see the formula used to calculate mass and weight. W is the weight of an object. M is the mass of an object. G is the gravity on the planet. On Earth, gravity is always equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. Gravity is always written with the unit meters per second squared. The amount of gravity will be different on different planets. So now I will show you how to calculate mass, weight, and gravity on different planets. In this first problem, a ball has a mass of 15 kilograms and we're looking for its weight in newtons. I always start out by writing the formula before I begin. Weight equals mass times gravity. In this problem, we don't know the weight, but we're given the mass, which is 15 kilograms. We also know that since this is on Earth, the gravity must be 9.8 meters per second squared. So once we fill in the numbers to the formula, it becomes a simple multiplication problem. 15 times 9.8 equals 147 newtons. That is our weight. In the next problem, a bag of groceries has a weight of 44 newtons. We are looking for its mass in kilograms. So once again, we would start by writing out the formula, weight equals mass times gravity. We know the weight is 44 newtons, so we fill that number in. The mass is unknown, and once again, we know the gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared since we are on Earth. Now, most gravity and mass problems can be solved using simple algebra. In this case, all we have to do is divide both sides by 9.8. So we have 44 divided by 9.8 and then we have 9.8 divided by 9.8. That will isolate the variable, giving us a mass equal to 4.49 kilograms. Remember to always include units to make it a correct response. In this next problem, an object has a mass of 30 kilograms and a weight of 50 newtons on planet X, meaning it's an unknown planet. We're looking for the acceleration due to gravity on planet X. So we start out by writing the formula, W equals M times G. We know the weight, which is 50, and we know the mass, which is 30. We're solving for gravity. So once again, we can use our simple algebra. If we divide both sides by 30, we can isolate gravity, which is the variable. That will give us 1.67 meters per second squared equal to the gravity. In our last and most complicated problem, we have an object with a mass of 36 newtons on Earth, and we're looking to find its mass on the Moon, and its weight on the Moon. In this problem, we'll need to use our chart of strengths of gravity on different planets in our system. So let's once again start out by writing our formula. Weight equals mass times gravity. So in this case, we know the weight on Earth, which is 36 newtons. We don't know the mass, but we do know the gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, use our simple algebra, divide both sides by 9.8. So we're going to do 36 divided by 9.8, giving us 3.67 kilograms equal to the mass. So now we know the mass of the object on Earth. And we also know that mass will never change regardless of gravity. So we already know the mass of this object on the moon will be 3.67 kilograms. All we need to do now is find the weight. So we know that weight must be equal to 3.67 kilograms times, if you look at the gravity on the moon, it is 1.62 meters per second squared. So if we do multiplication, we get the weight of this object on the moon to be 5.95 newtons. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to watch the rest of the videos on this playlist.